indigenous futurisms, beliefs, ideas, and worldviews in the context of science fiction, fantasy, and other genres used by Native First Nations and indigenous artists to reimagine reality through a lens untainted by or directly critiquing colonialism. The Crow Reservation established in Montana in May 1868 is home to over 8,000 people. One is award-winning Epsaluke artist Wendy Redstar, who grew up on the reservation before attending Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana. At Bozeman, she received her Bachelor's of Fine Arts. Later, she earned her Master's of Fine Arts with a concentration in sculpture from the University of California, Los Angeles. Today, Wendy Redstar resides in Portland, Oregon, and her work is paving a path for Native women's voices in the contemporary art world. By putting herself wearing traditional regalia into the artificial space, her series Four Seasons criticizes how Native Americans are represented in museums as being primitive people of the past who were closer to nature. Red Star references museum diagrams and artificial nature exhibits through her use of commercial Western landscape backdrops, blow up animals and artificial plants. Over two-thirds of Native women have experienced sexual violence in their lifetime, making them one of the largest demographics of sexual assault victims. The term squaw has been used in a derogatory fashion towards Native women. This is one of the many reasons why White Squaw, the 80s and 90s adult Western novel series, is incredibly insensitive and inappropriate. In her own White Squaw artist series, Wendy Redstar uses the cover of the books, including the title and the sexualized imagery featured at the bottom as a backdrop for her digitally recreated masterpiece. As a replacement for the center image, half native heroine, she poses in an exaggerated humorous sexual pose to highlight the absurdity of these adult novels. Through this series, and like many indigenous futurisms art pieces, Wendy Redstar has not only brought attention to the capitalist exploitation of indigenous women, but has effectively reclaimed a body of work from the fictional realm of colonialism and made it her own. The combination of European and Victorian fashion motifs, 70s silhouettes, and Native American design each inspired the futuristic regalia of the fierce, ambiguous beings portrayed in Wendy Redstar's 2011 series, Thunder Up Above. Again, utilizing the power of photography, Photoshop, and graphics, her designs express her interpretation of first contact with an unknown indigenous people, those that you would not want to mess with, as she states in her artist statement on the series. This interplanetary landscape displays interwoven aspects of sci-fi and traditional Native American garb, making the pieces powerful symbols of indigenous futurism in a frontier authentically red stars. Wendy Redstar is one of many in the canon of indigenous futurism's artists reimagining their reality through a lens untainted by or directly critiquing colonialism. Her artwork is a direct response to the perceptions, stereotypes, and unjust treatment she and her people have been subjected to since the beginning of colonization. She powerfully paves the way for other native First Nations and indigenous women to use their voices and represent their people in the world of contemporary art. Thank you.